ready to take the floor. I'm Sean Woodland with Chase Ingram. Mike Arsenault is down on the competition floor. One day ago, we were in a much different situation than we were right now. Man, yesterday was wild. Roman came into the day with a 100-point lead, but Jeffrey Adler, second in a 5K, fourth in the total, and then comes out this morning and just puts it down, getting first place and a two-point lead to come in to the Coliseum. But things went from bad to worse for Roman Krennikov. Keep an eye on his right foot. He came down awkwardly, or his left foot, and was able to hoist that bag up, but that awkward landing, and Roman Krennikov was in not good, of not a good place right now. A broken foot is what we're hearing. And we're hearing a, a broken, maybe fifth metatarsal. You can see the ice pack on his left foot and just a look on his face and the question is is you know is is he going to give it a go can he give it a go two points behind jeffrey adler for the lead Belner now sitting in a podium position with chandler smith nipping at his heels well, krennikov does have a very big cushion as far as a podium position is concerned but for more on him let's go down to mike arsenault thank you very much sean crossfit athletes are tough but this is taking it to another level roman krennikov just entered the coliseum floor and he's limping i saw him during the athlete briefing and he could barely put any weight on his left foot it was so heavily taped he couldn't get a shoe on he's wearing a lifter to give himself a little bit more support parallel bars won't be an issue the double unders honestly there's a chance guys he might have to try and do these single legged test 11 is the parallel bar pull Eight rounds for time, down and back on the P-bars with a traverse or a pirouette at the end. 30 heavy double unders and then a 15 length section of that 345 pound sled. 10 men will be on the floor here. Roman Krennikov, he'll be in lane number six. Your overall leader is Jeff Adler. He is just up by two points on Krennikov. And Pat Vellner in lane four on the podium now and trying to stay there and wind up with a bronze medal. Two Canadians side by side. And Adler said is that he needed Pat to help him get some separation between him and Roman in the previous test. And there's the left foot of Roman Krennikov wearing the lifter. We'll see how he can get through this. Eight minutes, 30.61 seconds is the time to beat. Brent Fikowski is going to be the first man to the 30 double unders. There's 32 reps per round, eight rounds total for 256 scored reps. Roman Krennikov in the middle is going to be able to do this on one foot. This is the loudest cheers we've had all weekend, Sean. Krennikov is, again, the good news for him. He has a 150-point cushion as far as staying on the podium is concerned. So if he can just do some damage control here to finish these tests, he still has a chance. Brent Fikowski, though, is your leader right now. Now, here's the thing coming into this, Sean, is that Brent Fikowski still has an opportunity to maybe put himself on the podium again. He's having a great weekend so far, but when you look at a test like this, we've got heavy sled pulls, we've got heavy double unders. Brent Fikowski won the last test at the CrossFit Games and had both of these things. He had one of the fastest test ones from semifinals across the world with a heavier, harder sled pull. So Brent Fikowski is one of those sleepers in this test that could take it and move himself into a podium position. Jordan Carl Gumitz is on the right side of the screen. He's also dealing with an injury. His back has been bothering him all weekend long. And Gumitzin, right now, is seventh overall. Well, he took 10th in the previous test this morning after basically getting dead last in the total last night. Recipe for success is delivered by trifecta what are you watching for here uh, they, this is a hot tub pump session if i've ever seen one you've got double unders you've got p bars you've got the pull it's just taxing everything that has already been smoked for these athletes but the long rope is the hardest pull that you're going to have so you got to make sure is that you focus on that first and fifth one 
And Roman Krennikov is still on his first round of double unders. And he's able to get through it. And I think for Roman is, you're going to take last in this test. Don't offset that by maybe making your good foot worse by too much work here. Keep doing the work, keep trying, get last place here. We've got a different style test coming in this final event, so get yourself to the next test to close things out. The Red Fikowski and Yonikowski are currently battling for the lead here in the second and final heat. Fikowski on the right, along with Gumanson, who's in third. Yonikowski is on the left, who sits in second place right now. Pat Felder and Dallin Pepper rounding out the top five. Felder trying to give himself some breathing room as far as the spot on the podium is concerned. They're looking at time to beat, Sean, and it's eight minutes and 30 seconds set by Lazar Jukic in the previous heat. There's eight total rounds in this. That is less than a minute and four seconds per round to get that best time. And what does that mean? That means precision. You cannot have a mistake here. You can't stumble on the P-bars. You can't break on the ropes. You can't get your rope tangled up in the sled. There is no room for error in this test. But Brett Fikowski is going to be the first man to hook up his second 345-pound sled. Yonikowski's going to beat him down the floor. And Bjorgen Carl Gumitsen, his 10th straight appearance here at the CrossFit Games, he has not finished outside the top 10 since his rookie year in 2014. And despite being banged up, it looks like that streak might continue. Bjorgen Carl Gumitsen, I mean, we had heavy sandbags this morning, Sean, so whatever he's dealing with, he is dealing with it like a champ. But this fifth round, Sean, this is going to be the hardest sled pull of the entire set. The reason being is that that sled is back off of these white lanes. You can see the white lane that these athletes are in. That's a much slicker surface than the black rubber that it is. And this is the longest length of rope they have. So it's not much, but a big start can get them a big lead going into the rest of that pull. Look how fast the Kowski sled move once he hit the white. Brett Fikowski in the lead right now, ahead of Bjorgen Carl Gubitsen on this pull. Yonikowski's just about done, too. Man who won the opening test of the 2023 Noble Crossing Games, third straight, or third time, I should say, in his career, he has won the first test of the games. And it's Brett Fikowski in the lead now. He's already back to his double unders. And there's so many transitions in this test. Where do I put the rope when I'm done? Do I get the rope off my platform? How much time do I spend doing that? How do I lay my rope down after I'm done with double unders? All these little meticulous little transitions that does that plays to no one better than someone like Brent Fikowski. Chandler Smith is trying to hold off Brent Fikowski right now. Smith sits in fourth place. He's only 47 points up on Fikowski. And with the number of athletes we have now in these 20-person heats, place differences mean a lot more points between the athletes. And Brent Fikowski just cleared that red line, and he's on the left side of your screen, upper portion now back to the parallel bars. 256 total scored repetitions here. Fikowski has two more pulls to go. And look how close it is still with him and BKG. It's a matter of seconds. And now we're getting into the pressure rounds. Round seven, round eight. No misses. I'm sending down to Mike Arsenal. I had a chance to uh, catch up with BKG before test number 10. And the issue is he actually has an injured psoas muscle, which runs along his hip. And that's giving him referral pain in his back. It started at semifinals. He wasn't able to lift heavy whatsoever until 10 days before the games. Unfortunately, he had a flare up before test nine last night. The Olympic total feels much better today. And we're seeing that play out here on the competition floor. Pat Felder currently sits in third place in this heat. Felder in third place overall, he's 111 points back of Adler for the top spot in the overall standings, but he's only four ahead of Chandler Smith. And we saw this in the previous heat coming into the final round. As you see Brett Fikowski, top part of your screen, still in the lead, is that making sure the rope isn't dragging over the top plates 
of your sled. If you look at the cows, he's currently, it is laying on top of the plates. We saw in the previous heat, Will Morad, his rope got stuck and actually couldn't pull the sled to the plate itself. 8.30.61 seconds. That's your time to beat from Lazar Jukic in heat number one. And here goes Fikowski looking to demolish that. Fikowski using his length, leaning forward, leaning back, letting his body do the pull. And Fikowski's done. One final parallel bar traverse trying to get the crowd behind him as Brent Fikowski will win test 11. Pat Velder is second. And now Bjorn Carl Gubinson looks to be the third man across. He got a no rep. He had to restart. Now Jonah Koski is trying to track him down. Koski at the far end is going to get in ahead of Gubinson. So Dallin Pepper is done. And he is in. And Jeff Adler is still out there. So Pat Vellner is looking to carve a significant amount of points off Jeff Adler's lead here. Adler is through. And now Jeff Adler is across. Now let's talk about the race for the podium. And Chandler Smith is still out on the floor, and he had a 47-point lead on Brett Fikowski. Brett Fikowski just took the test win. So we may see Fikowski leapfrog an inch closer to that podium position. Well, Adler's going to take seventh. And he was the last man to finish. The yellow host is getting ready to finish up. Sean Chandler has a whole another round to go. This is his eighth round. Bailey Martin came across. He finished 11th in the test, and now Hosta is in. That leaves Chandler Smith and Roman Krennikov. The only two men left on the floor here. And what's Chandler Smith on his final pull as Roman Krennikov is on his third of those eight rounds. Just trying to gut through this. Smith is across. And now we will have to wait and see how many points he's going to surrender to not only Pat Velber, but now Brent Fikowski. And here comes the crowd behind Roman Krennica. I apply the effort. Just be careful. You have another test to go. Roman Krennikov, this entire competition out there trying to help Roman through this. There's three minutes left for Roman. 
And as you mentioned, Chase, he has another test to go here. One. Yeah, and it's inspirational that this is. I'm glad he's trying, but he's in there already smacking his calf. Like, let's not make a bad situation worse. You've done plenty of work to move on to the next test. And now Adler trying to get the crowd behind Roman Krennikov, and now he will move to the pull for the fourth time. I'm going to help people know that he's still halfway, too. But man. Roman. Being saluted by competition director Adrian Bosman on the left side of your screen. Um, One minute before we hit the time cap. We have had a lot of emotional moments here inside the Coliseum, and this one is right up there with the ones that we have seen play out here at the Alliance Center. Bukowski coming in, needed to make a move. Down there on the leaderboard. Can't think of a better test to come up for Brent Bukowski and bank 100 points to his total, but he needed some help. Overall, he's behind Chandler Smith for that fourth place position by about 47 points. But you have Roman Karenikov, who has been leading in the white jersey all week long. And when you think about what these athletes sacrifice and have to go through, what they choose to do, put their lives on hold and make this their entire life to be here, how long it took Rowan to finally get to the CrossFit Games last year, Let's go down to Mike Arsenal with Roman Krennikov. Roman, this is 